So I'm going to introduce Chad Brecklin. He's had a great history with the city of Fitchburg, but I want to make sure I, you guys know exactly his history. Chad is the current city administrator, a role he has held since July of 2021. Chad previously served the Fitchburg Police Department as its chief of police, lieutenant sergeant, and police officer. He began his career in Fitchburg in 1999. He's been around a long time. Prior to joining Fitchburg, Chad, Fitchburg Police Department, Chad worked as a police officer in Oregon, Wisconsin. Chad holds a master's degree in business administration from Concordia University. He is a graduate of the FBI National Academy. Remember that was when I was with Mayor Chad. We took two weeks and went out and studied that program. He's going to give us great insight today on what you see as Fitchburg, as we know, as an incredibly growing city. And I'm very excited to give Chad Breck. Let's give him a warm welcome today. Thank you for the kind words, Sean. So again, thanks, Sean, for those kind words. I certainly hope I don't disappoint. Sean's given me quite the billing here this afternoon. Yeah, so uh, I want to talk about a few things that are happening at City Hall. Uh, and I can really say a few at this point. We could talk you know, for several days uh, if we were going to cover everything that was possibly going on at City Hall. But some of the main things I want to cover today are, are um, our budget. Well, I'll give you a brief, a brief overview of the city and, and kind of its operations first. We'll talk a little bit about budget talk a bit about the Town of Madison attachment that Sean mentioned is uh, going to happen here in about three weeks. And then we can talk about uh, some of the development that's been happening throughout the city. There's all kinds of it. All you have to do is, is uh, drive around and see uh, all the dirt being moved around and those sorts of things. But more importantly, I want to leave some time uh, to have just an informal question and answer session where, you know, whatever questions you guys may have about what's happening at City Hall, in your neighborhood, throughout the uh, community, you know, we have that opportunity for that uh, conversation back and forth. And then after the conclusion of the program, I'll be happy to hang out if anybody wants to chat uh, individually, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So again, one of the things that we are really happy and proud about in Fitchburg is the diversity that we have in our community. If uh, you see this uh, chart here, uh, when we talk diversity, we can talk a lots of different types of diversity in Fitchburg. But we, when we look at racial and cultural dis, uh, diversity, we are uh, one of the most diverse, if not the most diverse community in all of the state of Wisconsin. When you look at approximately 63% of our population being white, approximately 10% uh, being black, and then we have uh, over 15% of our community identifies as Hispanic. And when we also talk diversity, we also have quite a diversity in our neighborhoods, as you all know. As a former township, uh, we have 35, 36 square miles that goes from largely urban in our northern area to more suburban in our uh, central area to rural in our southern area. And then, of course, when we take a look at all of the other different things we have going on in the city, we have over 800 businesses uh, in the city of Fitchburg currently, a labor force of over 18,000, and an unemployment rate uh, of about 1.7% in Fitchburg. Growing population, uh, we're about 32,000, depending on which estimate you look at currently. When the town of Madison actually attaches in three weeks our official census population, which is uh, the, it's dated now, it's a 2020 census population, will put us at 30,999. Uh, that 32,000 is, is likely a uh, Department of Administration uh, state uh, population estimate. We have over $4 billion in equalized value. Uh, last year's budget was approved at over $41 million. That's both our operating budget, which is your day-to-day -day operations for all that's happening at at City Hall, the fire stations, our highway maintenance facility down the road, uh, police department, the library here, and then also our capital budget, which includes things like road projects, uh, large equipment purchases, and those sorts of things. We are very proud of our AA1 bond rating. That is uh, one tish below the uh, highest bond rating you can possibly get. So Fitchburg has uh, definitely taken its financial responsibilities very seriously over the years. And that's something that we're very proud of is to have such a high bond rating. Our median income is about 76,000 a year. Average home valuation as of 1-1 uh, of 2021 was 330,000. And then our Chamber and, business, uh, Chamber and Visitors Bureau has over 400 members. So I'll transition here to the 2023 budget. Uh, Mayor Richardson just released his proposed budget on the 23rd of September. And that budget 
uh, has a number of new initiatives and personnel within it and there is an opportunity for folks if I, and I encourage you to go out to the city's website to read the mayor's letter uh, that's included in there. It kind of gives his uh, thought process behind what he prioritized in his budget as well as a summary of what he's added in the budget. You have the opportunity to share your feedback with your alders if you're so, so inclined to do so. And then there are also public hearings coming up on October 11th, uh, which is at the council meeting on Tuesday night at 730. There'll be another one again on November 1st at 730. And the city council uh, alders will be putting their amendments in. Uh, those are all due to our finance director at the close of business on Friday. So that's an opportunity for them to uh, uh, potentially change the priorities in which the uh, mayor has identified and or uh, implement some of the priorities that they would like to see in next year's budget. And then the city council looks to do final adoption of that budget on November 1st. Some of the highlights uh, in the mayor's uh, budget, and this is all uh, within his letter, but I'll save you some time perhaps in sharing the summary here, is a commitment to taxpayers. But as it stands right now, the city portion of uh, property tax on an average residential home is estimated to be approximately the same with this upcoming 2023 budget as it was with the 2022 budget. I know that the mayor was really uh, critical of making sure that we had a, uh, a reasonable uh, budget that, that reflects uh, the taxpayers. The mayor also has a heavy commitment to road maintenance. Uh, he's proposed an increase in funding for both resurfacing and road maintenance in this budget. And one thing that Mayor Richard, Richardson has prioritized during his entire time as mayor has been to slowly and gradually build up that uh, annual budget that we have for roads. Uh, he recognizes that that's one of the things that we all use nearly every day throughout the city and that we need to make sure that folks can get where they need to get and uh, can do so without having to ride through potholes and, and uh, crumbling pa pavement. And then the other thing that he also uh, looks to incorporate into his budget is a commitment to the expenditure restraint program. Uh, that is a state level program that provides aid to qualifying municipalities that limit growth in their spending. So if we meet that threshold, the state will give us an additional $650,000 in, in aid um, if we limit our spending to certain thresholds. So uh, the mayor has uh, done that in order to, again, help uh, capture more state aid coming into the city. And then also that $650,000 that does not have to be levied through property taxes uh, through the city at least. So the town of Madison, um, one of the things in the town of Madison that I want to share is that agreement was signed by the city of Madison, the city of Fitchburg, and the town of Madison back in 2002. And I was a sergeant in the police department at that time. And there's a handful of us that are still with the city when this thing was signed. And I think all of us kind of look at each other and we're like, never thought we'd see this happen, right? Who knew we'd still be here with the city? Let alone, I never thought I'd be in this position yeah, trying to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, trying to, trying to manage all of this stuff. But um, it's been, it's been a 20-year a journey to the point that's going to culminate here in three weeks in which the town of Madison and these orange shaded areas here. Yeah, can you just tell us what yeah. the Beltline is here? Yep, just absolutely. So here's the Beltline running right, right here. And then, uh, so this is uh, Rimrock Road right here, Beltline and Highway 14. So this is the Southdale neighborhood in the town of Madison that's going to attach to the city of Fitchburg. There's about 1,400 residents here and 100 businesses. Uh, some of the things that are there, uh, you'll know um, Exact Sciences has a facility there. Quartz Health has a facility there. Uh, Delta Beer Lab, if anybody is in, into that. Zimbrick has some stuff here. And then the other part is the Zimbrick dealerships here on Fish Hatchery Road are going to come into the city of Fitchburg, uh, right south of the Beltline. All the stuff in blue is headed to the city of Madison. And um, we started with an internal work group here about a year and a half ago, consisting of a, of a number of department heads who are gonna kinda help us shepherd this whole thing in. And we put together a software application to kinda break down all of the tasks and items that departments needed to, to address in advance of the town attachment. And that list across all of our departments uh, got close to 250 different tasks, issues, 
and things across the board, whether it's assessing, whether it's um, finance, whether it's um, planning and zoning, whether it's public safety, it's touching every aspect of our operations. And one thing that we've learned through all of this is that we're probably, this is probably the first occurrence where anyone can figure that two municipalities were attaching a township. It's happened in the past where one has attached a township, but not two. So it's definitely required some very close collaboration with the city of Madison uh, on this entire process. And uh, we've really been able to check a lot of those 200 or nearly 250 tasks off the list so far and have you know, kind of a handful of, of uh, large ones remaining. But um, we're, we're, I think we're ready, to be honest with you. And I think it's going to be one of those things that we'll be sitting around that week of November 1st and uh, saying, OK, here's one that came in that we couldn't think of, right? Between the cities of Madison and the cities of Fitchburg, all the great people working on this. So we're, we're kind of sitting in this little bit of a low period now, wrapped up our stuff, ready to go. And then we're going to wait and see you know, what, what needs to be addressed yet. So, but staff has done a great job with this particular initiative. We did a lot of outreach with the town of Madison throughout the summer months. And uh, again, I think uh, it's gone a long way. Mm -hmm.